Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and it's your boy Salami and here we are, the anticipated re-release of how to install Need for Speed Underground 2. Now, if you've already seen my previous video, you might be wondering why I'm re-uploading this again. Uh, the reason for that is this is a much simpler, cleaner way of installing Need for Speed and for those that are wondering, yes, the map works. So without further ado, let us begin the process of installing Need for Speed. First off, we're gonna need an application called Proton Tricks. Now, in recording my desktop, I made a mistake and cut the bottom of the screen. But as you know, there's the Discover Store. Make sure you log into that. And then you're gonna search up Proton. And the first thing you're going to come across is Proton Tricks. Now, you're gonna to wanna to download this. Um, and it will come into play much later down the track. But for now, just download that, install it. That's the first process down. And we can move on to the next part, which is probably getting a copy of the game, which is from this website here. I'll put this in the comments, in the comments, in the description below. Um, just scroll down. You can use whatever down, um, web browser you like. I just use Chrome but it's this one here, old games download. You wanna click into there and then scroll down and download the game. The big blue box here, this one right here, that is the bad boy you want. Now it's gonna take you through how you wanna download it. I just used Mega, uh, it seemed to work fine. I'm just going through here to make sure you see how I did it. And it'll load up here. And then there'll be a process as you see down here, but because I've already downloaded it, it's already to go again, and then you can just download it. Easy as. Once that's done, we'll move on to our next step, which will be installation. So we're gonna to go to our downloads folder where it would have downloaded our version. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is unzip your copy of Need for Speed, which you can do by pulling the trigger on the controller. Of course, you need to be in desktop mode to do this in case you're unaware. Um, and to get into desktop mode, you just push uh, the Steam button and then head down to power and then desktop mode. And then you want to do is add the Need for Speed Underground EXE to your Steam library. Once that's installed to your Steam library, added to your Steam library, load up Steam and then scroll down your library till you find the installer. If it's not there, maybe quit Steam and reload it. Now, from here, you're going to want to go across to the cog and we're going to want to use this in Proton Experimental. So you want to force use specific compatibility tool and go to Proton Experimental as standard Proton layer will not work. Push play. Now you're going to get the installation screen and you're going to lose control of your trackpad on the Steam Deck. All you need to do is hold the Steam button down and then use the trackpad and triggers on the Steam Deck like usual. It's just for this installation. We'll fix that afterwards. Now this version has an unlock everything. I turn that off because what's the point of playing the game if everything is unlocked? Um, and everything here is just leave it as is and let the install process take place. If I'm going too fast here, please drop a comment down below and let me know if I'm racing through this. Of course, you can always go back and slow the video down to double check. Um, but yes, otherwise, if you're not sure how to download the web browser, just go to Discover Store once you've gotten to the desktop and download either Chrome or Firefox, either up to you. Uh, I just prefer Chrome personally. Uh, this installation, as you can see, takes a little time, but it gives me a chance to talk to you guys. Um, are you looking forward to jumping back into Underground 2 on your Steam Deck? Let me know in the comments below. And if you're enjoying this video, please let me know. A like, comment, sub, up to you. I'm just always going to have new updated guides and new guides on games coming out. So if this thing, if this is helpful to you, please. Um, it's always great to hear stories of games being installed. It's always nice to hear people saying, I got it working. 
Um, and if you're having issues too, please let me know and we can always chat it out. So usually someone else in the comments also has an issue or has a solution if I'm not sure what's going on. It's always hard not being able to see what's happening on your screen. As you can see, we're almost done through the installation here. We are done. Right, next step uh, is we need to find the folder where Need for Speed installed. So the easiest way to do this is you would do this, right click and go browse local folders. But because that is the installer, what you want to do is find a game you've already installed that's from Steam, your Steam library, and load up their game. And what you want to do is go back through the folder system of Steam to their core library, okay? So where all your games are installed. So we're going to head back one to common, and then we're going to, that's where all your games are installed that are officially through Steam. So you're not going to see your need for speed installed here, unfortunately. So you're going to need to go back one more to the Steam apps, and then from here you're going to go to compact data, okay? So this is where it's going to be installed, and here you're going to see a ton of numbers. I know this is going to look scary, but what you're going to have to do is search through all of these going into the C drive and then the program files x86 and look for the need for speed folder, okay? This can be a little bit time consuming depending on how many games you have installed on your Steam Deck, but just slowly make your way through until you find our need for speed folder that we've just installed. Um, and you might wonder why it's like this is because this Proton is making a fake version of Windows for your games to be installed in. So there it is there, our Need for Speed Underground 2 folder. So what we want to do is go in here. And what the plan is, is to update our install that we added to Steam to the Speed 2 e EXE. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to copy its location. Now we're going to head back to Steam and change the setup for our folder. So the target we're going to change to where the EXE is for Need for Speed Underground 2. Again, you might ask why. There's a long story, but simply put, this is what you need to do, okay? So you just want to delete that line and paste that one. Make sure at the beginning and the end of it, you have those little digits. Without those digits, it won't find the um, EXE. Next, we want to copy the folder where it is. So as you can see, I just right clicked on where it is and then paste it in the start in, okay? So the top one is the, e the need for speed EXE and the bottom one is the folder it is found in, okay? And while we're at it, I just took out the, so the name was a bit tidier. After that, you can close that. Right, we're getting there guys, you're doing well, keep it up. Next step is trying to play the game. As you're going to see here momentarily, it's not going to work. As it says, you need disc two, which is very bizarre. But anyway, there is a really easy fix for this. Is in the folder for Need for Speed Underground 2, you're going to right click, create new text file. It's going to have text file.txt. You want to delete that whole lot. Clean it. You don't want to call it that. Just delete the whole, as you see there, and we're going to do is, in all caps, is FOO, F-O-O-B-A-R, FOOBAR, okay? Don't ask why, but that fixes the needing disk too, all right? Next step is fixing our resolution. So we could technically play Need for Speed 2 now, but it's not going to fool your whole screen, and it's going to look a bit, you know, not quite right. It'll look fine, but you won't be able to get widescreen. So this is where Proton Tricks comes in. This lets us use this um, executable. Now what you want to do is once this opens up to Proton Tricks, you're going to see Need for Speed Underground 2. And that is where we are installing this executable. Now this is why we want to use the same file. As you can see, I've made multiple versions of stuff. So that's why we want to have the setup changed to where Need for Speed is. Now all you're going to need to do is change it to Need for Speed Underground 2 here and go find it for me. 
As you can see, it's found it automatically. And then down here, we can put in the correct resolution for a game, which is going to be the Steam Deck resolution, which is 1280 by 800, okay? And that will full mean that the game fills the whole screen. And I'll say it here now, in case I forget later on, but make sure once you go in the game, it's not going to be on that resolution. You will need to go to your settings and change it by going backwards in the resolution settings and it'll say a different size but the the patch is basically overriding what it says okay so we're basically done here now we don't need anything else so what we can do is we can go back to gaming mode and i will see you on the other side and hopefully everything will be going i spend a moment here to update the pictures um, I can in another video show you how to set this program up which allows you to set your own pictures for all of your games that are not Steam uh, installed there we go there we go and this just tidies up our desktop to make it look a little bit fancier. Um, lots of people seem to upload lots of different ones that you can choose and pick from. Looking good, looking good. We want that, we want that. Put that on there. We'll restart later for that. And there we go, look at that. Looks the part now, doesn't it? Okay, now let's play this. As you're going to see, it's going to load up eventually. It's actually quite quick. For a game of this age, it shouldn't be slow. As you can see, it's not full screen here. But it looks bloody good. So what you're going to see, it's on 1224 by 768. I don't touch it here because I, I just forgot to change it. But you'll see in game, I do go back and change it to the correct resolution. But what you would do is where that resolution is, you go to the left, to the right to the end, and that will put you on the correct Steam Deck resolution. I make sure I turned on um, in the detail the motion blur. I think that makes the game look way better. So please turn on motion blur. For the love of God, turn on motion blur. Now the controls are gonna be a bit funky um they're not going to work quite right so you can go and download my controller scheme that i have made for this hey, or you can make your own it took me about 10 or so minutes to make a controller scheme for this um as you can see here it's all little like boxed which is of course not really how you want to play it especially when you could be running it in widescreen so yeah, do I show you here? I think I do. You go to display and then I went right. So it says 640 by 480, but it's actually the correct screen resolution for the Steam Deck. And now we've got full screen and we are cruising in underground too. And the map works, how good, okay? Now, if you do want to find my controls, you are looking for King Salami Underground 2 controls. Um, and you should be able to search that up in the Steam um, controller layouts if you go to the community and then search it up you should be able to find it if you're having issues finding that please let me know and I'll help out as best I can and there we are we are done I will leave you with some gameplay once again thanks for watching guys have a great day have a great night enjoy the underground and I'll see you next time.